Rico and today I'm going to talk to you about scholarship or video games. You guys play video games on your laptop or computer, even on your cell phone. Well, I actually play uh, hidden games for my phone because it, it's for a learner new words. It's more enjoyable and fun. My very closest person plays uh, video games every day, especially this one. <laughs> and for reading about this own article, The Lions Work, I never thought there is a scholarship for uh, gamers. So today I'm going to talk to you about scholarship and who get the scholarship, the requirement and the reward, and also video games advantages and disadvantages. First, whether you're a player or a developer or a student, there is a scholarship for you. The first one is Webcomic Penny Arcade establish the scholarship programs. Uh, also their scholarship fund is ten thousand dollars. And also the applicant must be a current college student with a minimum three point three GPA. The second one uh, one is um, I think it's a community fund and their scholarship is ten thousand to five hundred and applicants must be a high school senior or a college, college student. And the biggest gaming industry, Twitch and Alienware scholarship has recently awarded this year's scholarship. Their scholarship, they made it each year to five, ten thousand dollars scholarship all around the world. And the biggest advantage is optional 10 weeks paid internship, it's a very good option. And the last one is Academy of Interactive Art and Sciences. They're actually they paid a pretty good. They gave a four to twenty five hundred scholarship for each year. Being a good computer gamer has advantages and positive effects. For example State University in Northern California, student Lok Tran, who is the leader in a student government. government. One day he was on a campus and a lot of people stopped him and congratulated him, not because he is the leader of gover student government, because he became a top player in a competitive college game. And also the video game competition have taken off on campuses across the country, including Harvard and Florida State University. More than 10,000 students are now are playing the biggest college league. And also winning a big tournament can sometimes earn players several years worth of tuition money. For example, the last year, League of the Legend compared for uh, 1 million million dollar and it's in the it's actually in the USA and also using a video games in class is very effective for example in, as an undergraduate Indiana University Bloomington Ben Clark remembers his professor using a SimCity SimCity for to teach urban politics because he's he and his classmates interact in the real environment, environment without screwing the real world up, he says. And the last one is, um, actually, the computer game has a bad impact on humans' mental and physical health. And we also know the video game is an addictive, very addictive, because when you start playing, it will take your whole day. And for example, 2001, West USA found that 68 of age 15 to 20 had a video games as their weekly entertainment. I, I strongly believe this percent now increased. And players can see the hours of an hours training as hard as a slate to understand the game. However, it doesn't mean necessarily it should be treated as a sport. And, 
and the other reason is you have you need to go out with your real friends but you choose a cyber friends that means less communication with your friends and family and also physically you're not moving only moving body part is your fingers and in the end if you're interested in a game design and development there has never been a better time to break into business the growing popularity of gaming points and the era of plentiful education opportunities before you choose any relative hobbies and interests I suggest you think wisely and think more deeply.